Dear friends, it's great to be back with another video after a short break. I surely missed you. While we were in Israel watching the beautiful Sea of Galilee, I was wondering and thinking about the stories and fishermen from the Bible times. So in this video, we will briefly discuss the equipment used to fish in the Bible times. Also, we will talk about the first century boat that was discovered in January 1986 by the brothers Moshe and Yuval Lufan between Kibbutz Ginosaur and Migdal. As always, I will be really glad if you will find a moment to subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video. One of the main tools used by fishermen was a casting net. The cast net was a circular net about 18 to 25 feet, that is 5.5 to 7.5 meters in diameter. It was thrown by a single fisherman and lead sinkers that were attached to the edge of the net pulled it down in order to trap the fish. There were two ways to retrieve the net. The fisherman could either dive down into the water and pull the fish out one by one or the fisherman could gather the edges together and pull net into the boat or onto the shore. Sometimes a rope was woven around the outside edge of the net, allowing the fisherman to retrieve the net by pulling in the rope. We can find cast net references in the Bible. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. With a great throng of people, I will cast my net over you, and they will haul you up in my net. Another necessary tool was anchor, device attached to the boat by rope or chain and lowered to the seabed to hold the vessel in a particular place by means of a fluke or pointed projection that digs into the sea bottom. But the ancient anchor was simpler. These ancient anchors found in the Sea of Galilee provide an idea of what anchors were like in biblical times. But now let's talk about this fascinating first century boat discovery. As I mentioned earlier, the boat was discovered by two brothers, Moshe and Yufal. The way it was discovered is interesting. The boat was exposed because of a two-year drought and it was discovered perpendicular to the shore, with its bow facing towards the lake. The port side was better preserved because the boat was listing this way, and the seabed clay helped to preserve the boat. The excavation was conducted in February 1986. The removal of the boat took 11 days. Although it was built mainly of cedar and oak, some Aleppo pine, hawthorn, willow and redbud were also used in the boat's construction. The boat has a rounded stern and fine bow. That means that this kind of boat could have been sailed or rowed. The boat dates to 100 BC 70 AD based on the construction techniques. The archaeologists believe that the boat was in use in the first century and sunk during the Great Revolt. They note that the Josephus tells us in the war, the beaches were thick with wrecks. The archaeologists say that the evidence from Josephus, the Gospels and the 1st century CE mosaic of a boat from the nearby site of Migdal indicates that a type of a large sized craft existed on the Sea of Galilee in the 1st century CE. The boat was put on a public display in the year 2000 at the Yigal Alon Museum at Kibbutz Ginosaur. So, what do we think, friends? Could the Almighty Jesus use a boat like this in the city of Capernaum, on the beautiful Sea of Galilee? Well, please leave your opinion in the comments. And also, let me know if you liked the video and would you like me to make more videos like this. I enjoyed doing this video for you. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon in another video on Israel on my channel.